Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute hamburger. So let's begin! These are the supplies that you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You're going to need a piece of paper. I'm using a dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old dollar store paintbrush lying around, it's, it always comes in handy if you want to dust off your page, if you've got little bits of eraser or if you've got dust on your page. You're going to need some color. So today we are going to use quite a few colors. For the burger bun, we're going to use a light brown. If you don't have a light brown, you can use a regular brown. Just don't press too hard, but I'll let you know when we, when we get to that. We're going to use a dark brown for the burger itself. But like I said, if you only have one brown, that'll be just fine. We're going to use green for the lettuce, red for the tomato, and I'm going to use yellow and orange for the cheese. If you just have yellow or if you just have orange, that's perfect. You're also going to need black. And if you want, I'm going to use actually a fine tip black marker. But if you don't have one, you can use your black coloring pencil. I think that's all we need for today. So let me clear this off. And we can start. So the first thing I want you to do is write out the word hamburger. But we'll start by writing a capital H. Okay, and a small h. My pen is running out of ink. I may have to switch it. And now we're going to write hamburger. Now I want you to do a capital H, A, M, B, U, R, G, E, R. Okay, that's how you spell hamburger. So let's take our pencil and I'm going to use about this much of the page. I'm going to make a big hamburger. So for the hamburger bun, the top of the bun, we're kind of going to draw what might look like in the shape of an eye. It's not an oval like an egg, but watch what I'm doing here. Just a curve and then kind of another curve on the bottom like that. It kind of looks like an eye. And why don't we give our hamburger some eyes right away? I'm going to make them oval egg shape and then another little oval in the inside. You can make them round if you want, any kind of eye you want. And another one here with an oval on the inside. And I'm going to give him a funny mouth. I'm going to make his mouth a little crooked with his tongue hanging out because he's so delicious. <laughs> okay, so that's the top of the bun. Now we're going to draw a little bit of lettuce and watch how I draw lettuce. I'm going from one end here to the other end here and I'm just doing kind of squiggly lines for lettuce. just like that. And then underneath the lettuce, we have a tomato. 
So what I'm doing is, as you can see here, see the end of the bun? I'm going to try to make the tomato and the piece of burger and the bottom bun all in line with the sides of the bun like that, okay? So I'm doing my tomato and it's under the lettuce. Just like that. I love cheese. I think cheese makes everything better, so I definitely have at least one slice of cheese on my burger. <laughs> so watch how I'm going to do the cheese. I'm going to do a line that goes out like this, kind of one that comes to a point here, and then out like this and up to the tomato. That's like my slice of cheese in my burger. And now let's draw the actual burger. Remember what I said? I'm trying to keep this in line with the edge of the bun like that. So I'm going to grab it here and pull my burger all the way over here and up. And it's the same thing with the bottom bun. It's going to look exactly like this actually. A thin little bun at the bottom of the burger. Okay. So why don't we start coloring in? Let's start with, we'll start at the top and we'll work our way down. So let's do the top of the burger bun. If you have a light brown, you can use that. If you only have a dark brown, you can use that too, but just maybe press lightly because we're going to use the dark brown for the actual burger. We want the burger to look darker. And if you don't have any brown, you can use yellow. That'll be fine. So we're just going to go in and color in the top of the burger bun. And I want you to be careful not to get any of the brown in the eye or in the tongue. Okay? I have a little cat hair on my burger bun. All right. If you're using coloring pencils, I want you to press very lightly and turn your pencil once in a while so that you don't wear it down on one side. And you're pressing lightly so that you don't break the tip of your pencil. I love hamburgers. <laughs> I love, I love food. If you guys know me, you know I love food and I talk about food all of the time. So, hamburgers, oh, love them. I like chicken burgers, actually, and fish burgers. One time I made a burger that was so big, I couldn't even bite into it. I had to use a knife and a fork. Actually, I have a picture of it. I'm going to show you the picture of it. Look at how big that is. <laughs> Nobody's mouth is that big. I can't believe I made a burger that big. I just wanted so much stuff on it. <laughs> I'm being careful not to get the brown into Mr. Burger's eyes. And I'm turning my pencil once in a while. Do you guys like hamburgers? Do you eat them with meat? Sometimes I make mushroom burgers, and those are really delicious, too. Actually, I made mushroom burgers last week, and they taste really delicious. I'll show you a picture of them. These are my mushroom burgers. They're so good. You know what I can do? If Mom and Dad want the recipe, I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description because they are super good. Sometimes you don't feel like eating meat, or maybe you're a vegetarian and you don't eat meat. So those uh, mushroom burgers are great for that. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. And I'm being careful not to get the brown inside of his tongue. 
because we're going to make his tongue red. I think the best burgers I ever ate were ones that were made on the barbecue. They just taste so good on the barbecue. Now, usually what I do is I'll, I will go back and put another layer. I'll color it in a second time, but I'm not going to do that for this one because I want, I want the burger buns to be quite light. So I'm going to leave it as is, but I'm going to take my red pencil right away and I'm going to color in his tongue. And I'm pressing very lightly and turning my pencil. My red pencil is getting very, very short, isn't it? I have one of these things. It's called a pencil extender. You just unscrew it, stick your pencil in, and screw it back on. Whoops. And look, it's so much easier to use now because it's not this tiny little um, tiny little coloring pencil. Now if you want to make his tongue a little more red, you can go in and put a second layer. All that means is that you're coloring it in a second time. You're applying a second layer. Turn your pencil once in a while and don't press too hard. Okay, we'll come back later and we'll do his eyes and his mouth later. So the next thing we're going to do is the lettuce. I have a light green. I think lettuce is really, really good on a hamburger. I love to load up my burgers as you saw from that photo. <laughs> How do you guys like your burgers? So I'm pressing very lightly and I'm going to turn my pencil once in a while. This one's getting short too. I'm going to have to get this one into an, a pencil extender at some point. I used to make so many burgers. We used to eat a lot of hamburgers. But, you know, I try to make them as healthy as possible. Not with a lot of, you know, once in a while, I would load it up with cheese and bacon and stuff. But we try to eat them with lettuce and tomato. Try to have mushroom burgers instead of meat. Actually, every time we have to take one of our animals to the vet. We always stop by McDonald's on the way home and get them a burger. <laughs> they love them. It's like a little treat for them. Because nobody likes to go to the doctor, right? Not even dogs and cats. They don't like to go to the vet. So it makes them feel special. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a second layer of green. Because I want the green to be a little more vibrant. Greener, I guess you could say. Don't forget to turn your pencil and if you're using crayons the same thing applies turn your crayon once in a while so you don't wear it down on one side because they wear out too quickly that way and you know everything costs money and it's expensive and we, we want to keep things for as long as we can we want to be frugal 
Being frugal means you want to save money and use things as much as you can without always having to buy new things. All right, so I've got my lettuce done. Ooh, this is making me hungry. <laughs> now we have our tomato. So I've got my red and I'm gonna go in and do the same thing. Very lightly, turning my pencil once in a while, I'm filling in the red for the tomato. And when I color, I color in little circles. I don't do straight lines like back and forth like that. I do little circles or sometimes big, big circles like that. It depends. If it's a large area, then I'll do large circles. I think it looks nicer that way. Turning my pencil. When I was a kid, you could not get me to eat anything on my burger except for mustard and ketchup. That's all I wanted. Didn't want cheese, didn't want pickles, didn't want lettuce, tomatoes, nothing. Just wanted ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your pencil. But now that I'm grown up, I'm trying to find lots of things I can just put on, on the burger. I tried spinach on my burger once and it was really, really good. All right. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna put a second layer. I'm gonna color it in a second time with the red to make the red more vibrant looking. Turning my pencil once in a while. Because you see how sharp the tip of my pencil is? I'd like to keep it that way so I don't have to keep going back and sharpening it. That's why I turn the pencil. And I that's also why I don't press hard. So can you see the difference between this side of the tomato and this side? This side has a darker red because I applied a second layer. But it's up to you, this is your burger. <laughs> How you guys doing, you doing okay? Turning my pencil. All right, my tomato's done. Now my favorite part, the cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna use my yellow, and then I'm going to apply some orange on top. But if you only have yellow, you can just use yellow. If you only have orange, you can just use orange. What do you guys like with your burgers? Do you, do you eat chips with it? Do you eat french fries, onion rings? Or do you just eat it on its own? I love french fries. A long time ago, there used to be, what were they called, curly fries. I don't see those anymore. I used to see those all the time, curly fries. Do you guys remember those? Did you ever see curly fries? They basically are exactly what their name says. They're fries that are curly. <laughs> I like onion rings too, those are yummy. I have a hard time making onion rings at home because 
they really taste best when you fry them in oil. And I don't like the smell of fried oil in my house, so we don't have onion rings very often. I try to put them in the oven and bake them, but they just don't taste the same. They're still good. Now, if you want, you can go in and put a second layer of yellow, or you can do what I'm doing, and you can take some orange and put a very light layer of orange on top of that yellow. This is making me think of that cheese that you can get at the grocery store. Oh, what's it called? Velveeta, I think it's called. Yeah, Velveeta. That tastes great on burgers. <laughs> Turning my pencil. See, I'm not, I'm not pressing hard or anything like that. I'm just putting in a very light layer of orange because I want the yellow to still show a little bit, but it makes it look different, you know? It's not just a pure yellow. It makes it an, a yellowy orange. And I think that's the way those sliced cheeses usually look, so. All right, this is fun. Let me wipe off my page. Okay, so the next step is the actual burger. And I'm gonna use my dark brown for this because it's a meat burger. At least that's what I'm drawing today is a meat burger. So I want the meat part to be a nice dark brown. If you don't have a dark brown, you could always use the same brown that you used for your bun. Or if you want, you could always use black. You just want it to be darker than the bun so that it stands out. Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. Today is May 1st for me here. I don't know what date it is for you as you're watching this video, but I love May 1st because it always reminds me that summer is right around the corner and I'll be able to start barbecuing again. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. And don't press too hard, you don't need to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back and color it in a second time, a second layer. I'm applying a second layer of brown, dark brown. My dark brown looks a little blackish. And I just turned my pencil. I don't want to forget to do that. And you can really see the difference between one layer here and two layers here. That's why I always say don't press too hard because you don't need to. You just have to apply a second layer, or a third, or a fourth, whatever you want. There is a big difference. I hope you guys are enjoying this. When I got to the letter H, I was thinking, hmm, should I do a hot dog or a hamburger? <laughs> and then I thought, what do I want to eat right now? And I thought, hamburger. <laughs> Hot dogs are good too, though. I used to go to baseball games when I was 
a little younger than I am now. And uh, we always bought hot dogs at the baseball stadium. That was when I lived in the city though. All right, my burger's looking good. Is yours looking good? Is it making you hungry? <laughs> okay, so the last thing to color in right now is the bottom of the burger bun. So I'm gonna take the same light brown that I used for the top of the burger bun, and I'm gonna do the same thing. This one's only getting one layer though. Pressing lightly and turning my pencil. I said I'm only applying one layer, but it, you can apply two layers if you want. I just want mine to look a lot lighter. I want this brown to be a lot lighter than the burger, than the meat, I mean. Turning my pencil. You know, I just thought of the dill pickle. Remember, I don't know if you did the dill pickle lesson for the letter D. I love pickles in my burgers too. Pickle in the middle. <laughs> All right. So my little fella is done here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take either a black coloring pencil or if you don't have black you could always just use your regular pencil I'm going to use my marker and I'm going to outline his eyes and his smile so I'm just gonna basically draw right over what I had drawn before with pencil And I'm doing this just to make his eyes stand out a little more. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is for fun. And so that you learn how to draw. I'm gonna color in his pupils with black. I don't know if you hear some clicking in the background. I've got the heat on. I hate having the heat on in May, but it's still pretty cold outside. So my heaters are clicking. <laughs> and my little dog is snoring, but he's, he's kind of far away, so I don't know if you can hear him. Okay, I love those eyes. Now I'm gonna outline his smile. I think I'm gonna give him some cheeks too. I'll show you how to give, make it look like he has cheeks, just a little curvy line at either side of the smile. And let's outline his tongue also. And I think I'm going to give him some eyebrows. There. Now there's one more thing I want to do before I sign my work is I want to give him some sesame seeds on the top bun. So all I'm doing is giving little, you know, little oval seeds kind of randomly all over the place. Because a lot of the time you always see sesame seeds on burger buns. Do you like sesame seeds on your bun? I like them, but my stomach doesn't like them, so I always have to pick them off.
There, got my sesame seeds on Mr. Hamburger. <laughs> How is your hamburger looking? I hope you're happy with what you did. So remember, the last thing to do is sign your work. Always sign your work. You should be proud of what you've done today. Always, always be proud of your creations. Because whatever you do, it's beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson today, my friends, and I hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, Mom and Dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. I have my link in the description below, and I have it in my About section too. So we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.